If you're looking for a simple way to check your Windows servers or uh, workstations uptime, then keep watching and I'll show you three easy methods for checking your uptime. Let's get started. Okay, the first method we'll be using um, the uptime exe utility by Microsoft. Um, to get that utility, you can go to my website, ActiveDirectoryPro.com slash tools and download it from this link right here. Um, Microsoft has updated this utility and the new version has removed many of the features like checking the uptime on remote servers. So I provided a link right here that will um, download the old version from my site. This link here will take you to the new version. Um, for this example, I'll be using the old version. So uh, again, uh, I would recommend you download this version here. Once you download it, you'll want to extract the uh, exe and copy the uptime uh, exe to the Windows System 32 directory. <clears throat> I mean, that is optional, but it makes the utility much easier to use. Um, putting it in the system32 directory enables you to run this command from any path in the command prompt. So once all that's set up, just open up your command prompt. And at this point, you can just type uptime. And the utility will run, and you can see it will bring back the uptime down to the seconds. Now that checks my local PC if I want to check a remote PC all I have to do is type in uptime and then the name of the uh, PC or workstation um, I've got a server called file one so I'll just type in file one and there you can see it gives me the uptime for the remote server um, the uptime utility has um, several features if you do an uptime slash question mark it will show you some of the other features um, I won't go into those in this video so that's it for method one. Uh, the second method for checking uptime is you can just use the task manager. So right click on the taskbar, go to task manager, and then go to performance. And you'll want to make sure you're on the CPU tab. And then right down here, it'll show you the uptime. If you click on memory or disk, it does not display the uptime. You'll need to be on the CPU uh, tab there and then it shows you the uptime again this this will work on windows servers and workstations so that's method two the last method i have uses the system info uh, utility that's also built into windows so we'll go back to the command prompts and we'll just type in system info And this brings back lots of information, but if we scroll up here, there should be a system boot time. Um, this one doesn't calculate the uptime like the other two methods do. It just shows you the last boot time. Um, and we can add in a little filter here if we want to filter these options. Uh, with the pipe find then boot time you can see it filtered out all the, the other results and just showed us the boot time um, and we can also check remote servers with this utility Let's use slash s for server and then the server name And you can see file the file one server, and there's the system boot time. And that's it for method three. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll send you more helpful tips for managing Active Directory and Windows Server. And thanks for watching.